I love that it says stress-free scallops. I don't know about you, but I'm stressed. This sous vide thing is not as easy as it looks. <coughs> this video is sponsored by LifeSub. They've been one of my great partners in 2019. Now it's 2020. They're ready to start the new year with a new year's resolution to eat healthy. And I thought, what better way to do that than to cook a meal with you guys? I know you really enjoyed it when I did it last time. Now I got this fancy new toolkit here. It's a sous vide cooker, basically cooking without a flame in water with a Ziploc bag. I've never done it before. I'm honestly a little bit nervous about it. But a huge thank you to LifeSum for sponsoring this video. It's my go-to nutrition app, tracks my calories, my macros, Macros, especially when I'm doing these 30 day diets. I need a good tracker. Jump into my description box, download the app for free, or if you want the premium version, there's a link there as well with the code DrMike30 that's gonna give you 30% off the 12 month subscription. No brainer, gotta do it. It's the new year, new resolutions, time to become an educated consumer. All right, I'm gonna scan all of these using my LifeSum app right now to figure out exactly how many calories are in this meal and what the breakdown of the macros are. Remember, macros are carbs, proteins, and fats. I'm gonna be cooking a scallop meal with scampi and this angel hair magic zero calorie pasta that I'm really excited about. Scanning the barcodes of the carrots. Boom, scanned, scallops, boom. Two tablespoons of butter. It's for the sauce, okay? It's the sauce. <gasps> then we got this zero calorie pasta, wine. 12 seconds later. My dinner got 31 grams of protein, 600 calories, 33 grams of carbs, 37 grams of fat, a good mix of saturated and unsaturated fat, 700 milligrams of sodium, 1100 milligrams of potassium. I think it's a solid meal. Let's get started. Ah, look at this thing. I feel like it looks like a lightsaber. Even Bear's excited. Do you guys see Bear's little face creeping in? Fill a pot with water, put the thing in the pot, plug her in, and that's it? Hmm, I guess I have to get this app in order for it to work. God, I gotta create an account. You know what they say about a pot watching a pot fill? A watch pot never fills. Or is that boils? So for this sous vide cooking, it actually is a slow way of cooking. So you keep the desired temperature for a long period of time, that way you don't have to cook with an open flame. When you expose meat to a fire, you actually create some harmful chemicals. And when you cook inside uh, a lower temperature for an extended period of time like this, it's safer. Okay, I think that's how you do it. Ideally, you wanna use a freezer type bag. Those generally don't have BPA in them and they won't leak plastic into your foods. Look at those scallops. I'm gonna take some lemon. Bear, I have sharp object. And I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon into here before. Eh. So they marinate a little bit eh. while I'm sous vide -ing. Yeah, get all lemoned up. So I'm gonna throw that in there. The instructions call for a 40 minute cook time in 125 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, I'm about to click start. Okay, get cooking. Whoa! That's cool. Why am I so excited by that? While that whole cooking process is going on here, I thought I would start on A, the pasta, as well as a scampi sauce. Cool water. I don't know if this is the way to rinse. Boiling water probably needs about two more minutes, so I probably should get my pan ready. Not my pan, whatever you wanna call this little thing. What do you call it? This is a saucepan? I'm gonna get this saucepan. <laughs> Melt butter in a saute pan. It's a saute pan! I'm tired of working with amateurs. Melt butter in a saute pan over medium heat. Add olive oil, raise heat to medium heat. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and be strategic. I'm gonna turn off the boiling water for a second because I want everything done at the same time. At the same time. Boiling water, put on hold for a second. Melt butter, and then how much butter? The answer is four tablespoons, but we're not crazy, so I'll probably do a little bit less than that. Four tablespoons equal a quarter of a cup. But then there's these sort of dashes on it. Which one of these dashes, like if I just cut here, is that a tablespoon? One stick equals half a cup, right? So I need a quarter of a cup, which is half the stick. Okay, okay. Where's my knife? Isn't a butter knife used for butter? Yeah, look at that. God, this looks like a lot of butter. Maybe I won't use all this sauce. 
Maybe this is like for a family of four. I don't know if you're supposed to do it this much, but I feel like the more I stir, the better result I'm getting. Add olive oil, two tablespoons, and raise heat to medium high. Okay, we got one tablespoon in there, second tablespoon in there. Oh, you hear that? It's a little scampy. Add garlic and cook until fragrant for at least one minute. Okay, do you just put in garlic like this, or do you chop it up and mince it? It says four cloves. This is definitely not the way you do this. Ah! But you know what? It's working. And my sinuses are getting cleared out. I'm gonna bring this to my... Ooh. Yeah, boy. Add white wine and lemon zest and juice. We need half a cup of white wine. Right, half a cup? I'm not making that up? Okay. And they said a quarter cup of lemon juice. This is definitely not scientific. And this is definitely not a quarter. Oh no, there's a there's a seed. Okay, wait, don't panic. But the sauce, I am panicking. I'm starting to panic. God, where are all these seeds coming from? Ah! It actually smells pretty good. Let's simmer until the sauce has reduced in half. But they also said add parsley with no explanation of how much parsley. So I'm just gonna throw in some parsley. Parsley. I don't know how much parsley is good. Adjust seasoning with salt and freshly ground black pepper. How does this work? Does anyone know how this works? I feel like barely anything's coming out. Okay. I saw something happen. Black pepper. It smells okay, but it doesn't look. What do you think about the appetizing nature of this? I thought it would be creamier. Isn't scampi supposed to be creamy? Okay, I have about 25 minutes on the sous vide cooking my scallops here. My water is about to boil, so let's throw my weird noodles into the water. <laughs> what do I have to do to speed up boiling water? I heard like if you add salt, it boils faster. Boil, boil, boil. Would you say that's a boil? I see a few bubbles, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. <laughs> in a non-oiled pan to dry off. God, I feel like such a chef. Cool. Sorry, you didn't see that. All righty. This is a big portion of these noodles. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me, lemons. Mm. Mm. Yeah, look at that garlic. Mm. <laughs> it's definitely not supposed to be this watery. It looks like a puddle. Oh, carrots. Let's get some carrots in here for color. You want a nutritionally balanced meal. And the beauty about carrots is you don't have to cook them. I have to do it. Okay, go get the carrot. I love that it says stress-free scallops. I don't know about you, but I'm stressed. I'm stressed just watching you. I am about done cooking my scallops in my sous vide. Do you see it shooting? I'm gonna stop it in five, four, three, two, one. Stop sous vide. That's pretty cool. Now I'm time to empty the scallops into my dish. Don't judge me for this. <laughs> I already hear you, everyone laughing in the background. Hold on, I'm gonna spill some of the sauce out. Based on my life sum calculations, this is a healthy meal, but let's see how I cooked it. It's heavy on the lemon. If I was served this in a restaurant, I'd send it back in soup. But because I made it, and I know it was made with love, I'm enjoying it. Look, even bear wants it. He's so supportive. Dan, come here. Come in for a bite. Come in for a bite. 10 being the best, the best meal of your life. Zero being rat poison. There's a taste in there <laughs> that it's not bad. Like I'm, I'm pulling your leg a little. All right, so what's the number? Three. <laughs> I got a three from the Dan. Dan has no idea what he's talking about. Solid six, seven, probably a four. In all seriousness, I'm not a master chef. I'm just learning. I tried this sous vide thing for the first time and it's, it's actually pretty easy. Like the scallops were the best part. The sauce is where I failed. So it was like my first time making sauce. 
you gotta give me that. We got all the calories and macros for you, courtesy of LifeSum. It's the go-to nutrition app. They sponsor this video. Links down below for the free download or 30% off your premium version for 12 months. It's a no-brainer. Huge thanks to LifeSum for sponsoring this video. Hope you enjoyed cooking with me, and I wanna do more of these. I wanna get better at cooking, man. Like, I'm tired of doing these sauces and Dan telling me I'm a three. I made some cooking videos before, and if you haven't seen them, here's a playlist right here. I'll watch those with you, you know, being happy and healthy.